Here's how to create this floating car effect inside of After Effects. So with your footage here, you just want to go ahead and road brush out your car. So that is the first thing we're going to do is go up to the road brush, select it, and then just make an outline around your car. Now, once you have your car road brushed out, it should look something like this. So now we just have the car here and we're actually going to be using this a bit later in the video. So what we're going to do is just duplicate this layer. So hit control D and on this top layer, let's just toggle this off. And then let's delete the road brush on this bottom layer. Now let's go ahead and select this pen tool and create a pretty rough outline around the car. Um, you don't want it to be too close to the car here. Uh, just kind of, yeah, basically make it pretty rough like this. Now let's just go ahead and hit M on our keyboard to bring up the mask, right click it and hit track mask. Go over to this panel and just hit analyze forward. So now the mask is tracked to the footage and we can just go ahead and bring this to subtract. Now we want to content aware fill this area. So up in the content aware fill, we can go ahead and hit generate fill layer right now if we want. Or what I like to do is hit create reference frame. So make sure your fill method is on object here. And we're just going to go ahead and hit create reference frame. And what this is going to do is bring up Photoshop. So we can go ahead and make a pretty good um, content aware fill inside of Photoshop. So now with this loaded up, we just want to go to this little tool here, the remove tool, and you can make your brush pretty big and just select this kind of keyed out area here in this brush and then it should go ahead and fill in this area and there we go it did a pretty good job honestly right here is a little rough but it'll work so this does a lot better than what after effects would do because sometimes it'll mess up and create some weird like artifacts around the background so this looks like a great reference frame so we're just going to go ahead and hit Control s to save that so once you go back into after effects you should see it load up here and there we go now we have a reference frame so with a reference frame we can go back into our masked uh, layer here and just hit generate fill layer and what that's going to do is just use that reference frame for all these new generated frames all right so now we have our fill layer here as you can see it took that reference frame and kind of used it for the rest of the frames here um it looks all right, but it should be fine for this uh, example here. So what we want to do is use this rotor brush layer that we have, bring it all the way to the top and we can toggle it back on now so we can actually see the car. And then we can hit P on our keyboard to bring up position. And let's just set a keyframe right here at the start. And then let's just go to the end here and bring it up like this. We can even do the same thing for the rotation. So if you hit R on your keyboard, it brings up rotation. So let's just kind of move it down like this. And if you want, you can make this 3D. If you toggle on this 3D here, you get more of the rotation like values. So uh, you can mess with like the Y and also the X here. So I'll just set a keyframe for the Y and the X, go to the end and then kind of move those around as well. So now as you can see, the car kind of just like levitates up here, um, which looks pretty cool. But what I'm going to do is easy, easy keyframes and kind of make a graph where it like speeds up at the start here. Kind of like what I did for the example edit here. So what I'm gonna do is select these keyframes and I just like to use this plugin here called Flow. It's just kind of nice when you're working with multiple keyframes, you can create the graph up here in this little panel and then just hit apply to those keyframes. Now you can see the car kind of speed ramps up here. So yeah, that effect is pretty smooth. We can even apply motion blur on here, kind of smooth it out even more. And there we go, that is pretty much it. It's a pretty simple effect, honestly. Um, it requires just like some rotoscoping and masking, but that's pretty much it, honestly. And then I guess keyframing at the end here. Uh, but yeah, once you have that, you can kind of mess with different uh, like camera animations. You can zoom in here or add different effects if you want to this uh, car here, since it is roto brushed out. You can like duplicate it, scale it up if you want. You can do that multiple times. And then maybe just like kind of create a simple keyframe animation for this. And there we go. I just created some totally different effect just using some keyframes and scaling in the duplicated cars. So yeah, that's kind of another way you can use this effect, I guess. Um, there's plenty of different ways, honestly, to create cool effects using this floating car method. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you guys. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.